Welcome, this is part two of the how to install WordPress on Proxmox and also forwarding it using a domain name. So after you've created your container, I also cloned some containers. I will also get my magnifier here. So in the right above corner, you can see a magnifying glass. So you can see clearly what I'm doing. So I want to start with this one. I am going to remember this IP address. And I also need Nginx for this. That's 201. So to use our Nginx, we need something like a VM because I'm not in this local LAN where this Proxmox server is running. But that doesn't matter because I can also do that like this. I'm first going to remove these old ISOs. That's better. So I'm going to start up my Windows machine. And then after that, I'm going to navigate to Chrome. And from there, I'm going to navigate to the Nginx server. Which is here. And one moment. You also need to set up engines. So to do that, we will need a Docker Ubuntu server. So we will need some commands. You can find this in the description. And you'll need to cd to the root. And here we will need to make a new folder. I will put this in the home folder. I will call this NRPM, Nginx Reverse Proxy Manager. I will cd into this. And then I will make a new Docker Compose file. Then I will edit this file. And I will paste some information. This is the things we need. So let's um, save this. And then we are going to one docker compose dash up, uh, up dash d. I was going to download this. Let's see the wood again. And if you want the common doc ds, you will see it's running. So now we can navigate again to the um, window. And here you'll have engine proxy manager. You'll need to log in with admin at example.com and the password is change me. Don't know why it's not working now. Ah. Got it again. Then we'll need to set up a new um, name and stuff. I 
after you've saved your credentials, you click save. And now we are going to we first proxy the um, the thing first. You'll need some router configuration. So let's go into the router. And from the router, we are going to click access control. And this is different depending on your router. But it comes down to this. You'll need port 80 and 443 set. Then if you've done that, we can Google our IP address. So this is basically our setup. We only need to do this because the above is done. We also need a domain name and we need to enable something in that domain name. So I'm using Cloudflare for that. But depending on your provider, you'll just need to forward the DNS request. So you'll need to copy the IPv4 address of your router, the uh, public facing IP, and from within Cloudflare, but depending on your situation, only the router and the DNS provider settings um, differ um, so this is not everywhere the same but inside Cloudflare you can do the following let's call it WP1 Now let's save that. Don't know if this is going to work, but it should work. And it does. You get this page from, from Nginx and because we have Cloudflare in this situation, we already have HTTPS. So if you have done that, we can now add a proxy. So let's do WP1. So if you key.nl and this is gonna be tricky because WordPress and Nginx aren't going to work right away, but that doesn't matter. So I will use these settings, but it's not going to work um, immediately, but I'm going to show you what you need to add. So before we are going to go further with this, we'll need the container up and running. So let's start that. And because we are using Turnkey, we can set it up in a whip. I need to fill this in four times because you are creating two different passwords. I am using the same, but you get the point. You can skip this one, but you'll need to install the security updates. That can take a while. 
just take some coffee and I will skip it for now. When you're done, select reboot and select yes. Now we can check if it's working using a Windows machine. And to do that, we are just going to navigate to the WordPress appliance. And if you can see here, we have a WordPress. Just go to the admin menu. And if I am correct, it is the same password you use to install. No, it isn't. And it will be admin. Yes, it is. Then from WordPress, you can install a plugin, which will enable us to edit a specific file. I'm just using file manager. Open a file manager and double click, uh, maybe click single click VP config, then select stupid notification. Then select this button. Here we can edit the configuration. You can find all of this in the description. And you'll need to tell it to do that. Yeah, this is the correct way. You'll need to select this. Then you say save and close. And if I'm correct, it doesn't work because oh, it does work though. That's weird. Sometimes it works straight away. Yeah, you'll get this message, but that's okay. Go back to your Nginx, select WebSockets and Block Kanban Exploits. We have already SSL, so that's okay. And select Save. And there you have it, WordPress. And I can show you, it also works on my home machine um, with the correct URL, of course. And also you'll have, oh, wait a second. Yeah, you also have the CSS problem we solved because if you don't add the line in the WordPress convict, it doesn't work. So that's how you do it. Have a nice day.